Chat. You're watching Let's Chat. We all know the history behind songbirds and what a huge impact they've had in a relatively short time span here in Chattanooga. If you have friends that are out of town that maybe weren't able to hit songbirds, now they can virtually with the debut of the Songbirds Radio Hour. Reed Cardwell is here and he is the Songbirds Executive Director. Reed, first of all, good to see you. Um, wow, having your own radio show, that's gonna be pretty impressive, no doubt about it. What are you gonna try to do on your inaugural show coming up here in, um, wow, September 1st? I know. It no seems, pressure, Reed, know. take your time. It seems like it's months away, <laughs> but it's like uh, in a week or so. Right. Uh, we're just really excited about this radio program. It's just a great way for us to kind of, um, especially this first one, we're gonna kind of talk more about, you know, Chattanooga music history, which we have this robust history here in Chattanooga. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, the Chattanooga music scene is growing and becoming a thing. And it already has been a thing. Like the Big Nine was just this huge, you know, street, black owned businesses, great music. You know, we had people like James Brown play there. Yeah. And uh, Wilson you know, Pickett. Yeah. The Tons impressions. Of I mean, just everyone. I mean, like you. And so this radio show will allow us to kind of touch on some of those things. This one in particular is focusing on uh, Bessie Smith. Um, we've got uh, author Michelle Scott's going to be there. She's mm -hmm. going to be, she wrote the book uh, that the movie Bessie was based on. Uh, and Michonne Calloway is going to be there doing some Bessie Smith songs. We've got a great house band. And we're just really excited about this program because it allows us to really kind of talk everything music, really kind of integrate some cool themes in and really talk about some cultural touchstones in music. As I understand it, you guys are going to try to recreate that magic that radio had when it was in its infancy. You mentioned the band, you mentioned a lot of the live guests, and everything happens bam, bam, bam in real time. So you're gonna try to create that magic and channel it through arguably one of the um, richest places knowledge-wise when it comes to music anywhere on the earth. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a, that's, a, that's a great compliment. Thank you for that. But we, you know, I think that this is just a great way to kind of express what Songbird is all about. You know, we're here to, to talk about music history and, and having this thing be a live, you know, hour long program that happens, as you say, bam, bam, bam. You know, it's just gonna be really cool to kind of get that vibe of radio because everything we talk about is in the same era. We've got like the history of rock and roll exhibits from in the 50s and everything we talk about is radio this and radio that and this is how rock and roll started and this is how this person got their start on radio and we just feel that having that format back where you have a live house band, you got a host and you just kind of get the energy of it all. Yeah. All at one time so people can come and see that and kind of be experienced what it was like. A lot of people don't really appreciate the full width of what Chattanooga brought to the music scene. And I mean, going back decades and decades ago, it wasn't like we were an overflow of one of the bigger cities over in the middle part of the state. We had our own music thing going on here for years and we yeah. still do. The, uh, the amount of talent here is just simply incredible. Yeah. And one of the things, let me ask you this, I'm gonna back up. What is one of your biggest challenges or maybe the biggest challenge in putting a show like this together? I think it's just a matter of uh, anytime you start anything new, it's just hard to kind of get the ball rolling, get people interested in it. I think people always have a question like, well, what is it? Is it something that I can come and, and attend? And I think that it's just always kind of hard to get the word out and get people, you know, kind of the ball moving down the path. And I, I think that's the great thing about Songbirds is we have this great track record going back over six or seven years of just doing cool stuff like this. And mm -hmm. people understand. And I think people just kind of lean into some of the things we do. They're like, oh, Songbirds is doing this. It's going to be cool. I should go or I should listen to it on the radio. Tell me about who is going to be performing for the inaugural show. And I understand they're going to be doing a lot of the Bessie Smith music. Mm -hmm. Who is this? So uh, Michelle Scott's a great, wonderful author. She's going to be coming down and she's going to be doing a reading and talking a lot about her book. Um, and uh, Nashawn Calloway is an excellent musician from here. She's local and right. she's going to be doing a lot of Bessie Smith tunes with her band. We've also got a great house band uh, that's a brand new band. They're still working out their mm -hmm. name. I mean, that's how new they are. But they, <laughs> they put it together. We heard them at another event a couple of weeks ago. All right, we're, uh, I hate to cut you off, but I would love to have you come back before this kicks off or maybe shortly after it kicks off. And that way we can take a look back. How do you hear the show, number one, and how do you get tickets to attend it in person? Right. So there's uh, it's a free show at Songbirds. It's at Songbirds upstairs. Right. Uh, it's, uh, you can get tickets on our website, songbirdsfoundation.org. Um, and there's about 75 tickets available still. So 
it hop on there and get is them. going to be a lot of fun. Reed Caldwell, thanks so much. We look forward to having you come back and talking about the future episodes of the Songbirds Radio Hour. We look forward to having you join us coming up today. Make sure and keep it here. News 12 at noon. We'll see you then.